morning everybody we're on to a new project and this project includes ripping out some brick right here and then redoing all this waterproofing on the back back side and then that brick is going to go tight against the house uh, back in place so it's kind of the first step we're going to pressure wash all this um, this grossness off <laughs> all this moss off thank you and and then once that gets all off start ripping out this brick hopefully hopefully i can reuse it we'll see that's the that's the plan anyhow chip off the the old grout or the old mortar and then uh, i believe this underside the concrete has been removed for a planter and i'll probably have to re-pour this this section before i get to the brick so Something to take a look at, but you can see that all this waterproofing was failing when I bought the house. It's that's that's the house right there. So kind of wondering how how invasive I'm gonna have to get into to that, but I guess we'll find out. I'm trying to leave a corner like this so the brick will be flush with the bottom here, type of thing. Tuck up some flashing and uh, and that sort of thing. So. That's the, the next chore for the next couple days. And then uh, I got concrete ordered already for Friday. Today's Wednesday. So I guess I'm going to have to get a, get a move on it. So that's the process. Tearing out the brick, redoing waterproofing, and putting the brack, brick back on. So let's get started. Well, you can see I've been kind of busy chipping the back side of this brick. It's got uh, some mortar smeared all over it. And if, in order to chip the brick out to try to save it, uh, you know, that chip, my theory is anyhow, chipping that mortar off the back side uh, kind of helps loosen it getting it free uh, and then then eventually I'm gonna start at a corner and chipping away at it on this side but got my uh, easy up up trying to stay in the shade a little bit because it's hot on this side that Sun beating down on the window is really uh, making it hot so <laughs> uh, do what I can that's I, I gotta admit that's it's tough work it's tiring my my arms are Kind of got a vibration from the from the rotor hammer, but it's all right. It'll get done here shortly, and you know, got, I've done chipping wise about that much. Probably taken me in the last 45 minutes, an hour, so not very much. Just a little bit left, and then I'll start piecing it out. And then as I get lower, there's more more uh, down there lower that I'll have to remove. But so. We'll let's go ahead and speed this process up.
Well, I was able to get most of the brick out. There's just a few pieces that I, I broke, but this is what it looks like now that it's broke out. And here's the house. Some reason they put this on thinking that was gonna last or I, I don't, who knows what people think, but uh, whether or not that's, they thought that was gonna be temporary or what, but I'm gonna have to get some waterproofing in here, tucking up underneath rip whatever this is off clean all that out and there's it's actually there's no concrete underneath so uh, tomorrow I'm gonna pour back this section of concrete here so you can see the woods getting all nasty that's the old siding and, uh, and whatnot that's what's underneath the vinyl but it's kind of what what uh, I'm faced against move all this get it out of the way uh, and then pour the concrete waterproofing uh, and then I'll end up actually putting another facade of this brick back on so you'll get to see the process that's what I'm doing life of a carpenter I've got to love it this uh, brick it took me about about two days to demo all that out and uh, off and on uh, but not uh, not the easiest thing in the world and uh, but here we are getting it done Well, we got it ready for concrete pour. So, got it all chipped and cleaned and, and whatnot. Looks like it, it used to have something there. I don't know what it was, but just the way the concrete's uh, finished out, where it's edged. Um, this might have been a planter at some point. It's all rounded, so uh, got that all chipped out. And, uh, it's not going to be a very thick pour. There's no weight going to be driven on it. So um, I'm going to float it out just level right across. It does have a bit of a slope going that direction. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and probably just keep it sloped, but also a little bit sloped away from the house as best I can anyhow. And pour that. Get that poured tomorrow. And then... Uh, I'm gonna leave another day for ripping this off the, the wall and seeing about putting some uh, some sort of peel and stick. I don't know if any peel and stick will, will fasten to it. That's kind of the problem. So, or I might have to just uh, do something that's compatible with uh, behind brick and then go from there and start building with brick. So that's, I think that's it for this section today. Uh, I gotta go do some other work. Get some uh, expansion board on another pour so that this is ready for uh, tomorrow and the other section that's ready for tomorrow. So that's what we got going.